Coming up next on WANT, Jenny McCarthy, Pamela Anderson, and Carmen Electra talk about their childhood fantasies involving... We interrupt this program for... Well, we, we don't really have a reason. With your host, Ant Nomad. Wow. Thank you for that stirring introduction, Ant Caustic. Today's Ant Libs were brought to you by Burn to Be in Sync, Joe Cool 428, Q-Tip 554, Yuan UN 649, Gecko 2185, Ant Swarmy, E-God, Mike Funky, Platt Maller, and Anti-Great. And now for the standard Ant Review. What is there to say about a game like Eggs of Steel? So many of these pornos cross my desk every day that it makes me want to spew monkeys all over Ant HQ. <laughs> What's up with these game companies that are just out to make a few more geek? And they'll never make pornos like they used to. Remember Pikachu's challenge negative 17. Now that was a frothy punk. Anywho, the controls in Eggs of Steel feel like they were programmed by a crowd of funky-ass gargantua <laughs> monkey tigers. I never could get my banjo to run, no matter how hard I tried. And it was incredibly frustrating to extend the truck, even though, <clears throat> even though the game made me do it all the frickin' time. Somebody at Quality Control sure let this one whirl out the foot. I've never played a game that looked quite as queer as <laughs> Eggs of Steel either. The pants look like houses, and I've never seen a character oppress quite like the ones in this game. Sad people, this is sad. If portos don't get any better, I think we'll have to give up on them. I'm not going to sit around and punch this pill anymore. Don't buy, sell, or rent this excrement-like chunk of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the bottom line from Ant HQ. Ant Lubes. Wacky Ant Lubes. That's all of them. Show. I am the Ayatollah Khomeini, and this is my co-host, Rahim. Say hello, Rahim. How do you doing today? Rahim, can you not speak the English? I speak the good English, Ayatollah, sir. See that you do, or I will have your tongue cut from your mouth. Now, many of you thought me dead, but as you can plainly hear, I am alive. Ha ha! I have returned to wreak horrible vengeance upon that great white Satan, America. Infidels! 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 Uh, Infidels! Infidels! Okay, Ayatollah, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, I am fine. Now, I have attained this radio program in order that I may spread my fanatical extremist views to millions. And who better to indoctrinate than you impressionable youngsters? Isn't that right, Rahim? You are being correct, Ayatollah, sir. Yes, I know! Soon America will acknowledge me as her master! But first, let's take a few calls. Rahim, would you do the honors? It would be having a pleasure, Ayatollah, sir. Mike, you are being on the air with Rahim and the Ayatollah. Um, yeah, um, Ayatollah? I, I just wanted to ask you what your favorite Pokemon is. Pokemon is a tool of the great white Satan and the Japanese henchmen! Designed to destroy the cultures of my people in the Middle East! But I do not fear them, for Allah will repay them in kind! I've always been sort of partial to Pikachu, though. He does look rather cuddly. Yes, I, I am liking the Pikachu as well. Rahim! Next caller! Jay, you are on the air with Rahim and the Ayatollah. Uh, yes, my question is for Rahim. Rahim, do you play Pokemon Red or Blue? And 
Have you gotten a special Pokemon Yellow Pikachu edition yet? I I am not knowing what this red, blue, yellow... What are you speaking of? You know, the different Pokemon games for your Game Boy. Game Boy? Game Boy? Yeah. I had told I was telling you we should have done the research before we are doing the show. Enough! Jerry, you are a stiff-necked infidel! Allah is most displeased with your love of Pokemon, the Yellow Satan! You will serve me in the afterlife for your misdeeds! Rahim, next caller! Bubba, you are on the air with the Rah Rahim and the Ayatollah. Uh, y y y yeah. Uh, I, 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 told her, I, I was just, just wondering, should I e e e evolve my Pikachu? Infidel! Infidel! Rahim, cut off his hand! But I, I told her, sir, I cannot be seeing his hand. You, you Americans can kiss my turban little ass! Allah will have his revenge upon you all! Infidels! Jihad! Jihad! No, Infidels! no! I, I Are you tired of having to empty your kidneys in the middle of a heated GoldenEye match? Do you find that annoying bowel movements often interrupt your Final Fantasy battles? Do you long for a solution to the inconvenience of certain bodily functions? Well that solution is here! Antagonist Gaming Diapers! Antagonist Gaming Diapers allow you to answer nature's call whenever and wherever you please. Using space age technology, Antagonist Gaming Diapers allow you to take control of your bowels and dominate your bladder. Made of super absorbent, high tech polymers designed by NASA for the space program, Antagonist Gaming Diapers allow you to do your business without leaving your chair. Then, when there's a break in the action, simply change your diaper for hours of extra protection. Just listen to how this product can change your gaming life. Before I got Antagonist Gaming Diapers, I could never seem to win at Madden 2000. It seemed like whenever I got into a rhythm, I would all of a sudden have to visit the bathroom. What a pain! Now that I have Antagonist Gaming Diapers, I consistently make it to the Super Bowl. Thanks, Antagonist! Just how much would you expect to pay for such a high-tech gaming tool? Similar products sell for 10 to $15, but by taking advantage of this special Ant Radio offer, you can get a pack of 20 Antagonist Gaming Diapers for only $7.95! What an outstanding deal! But wait, there's more! Did you say more? Yes, more! More? Yes, more! If you act now, we'll also throw in a bottle of Antagonist Social Repellent. By spraying this highly concentrated mist, specially formulated to smell just like Ant Pogo's body odor, on and around your personage, you can rest assured that you'll no longer be bothered by pesky friends and or members of the opposite sex. Just think how much time you'll have for playing the games you love. Call now! Antagonist Gaming Diapers, because Mother Nature can really be a b From Antagonist Studios, this is the Ant Talk 11 with your host, Ant As You Are. And now it's time for the Antagonist Top 11, brought to you by Antagonist Gaming Divers, because Mother Nature can really be a toss. And now here's your host, Ant As You Are. Take it as you are. Thank you, Ant Caustic. I have in my hand the Top 11 for November 7th, 1999. This week's top 11. The top 11 signs you've been playing too many video games. Number 11 from NoFear420 at AOL.com. You try to reprogram your lawnmower to attack your paperboy. Number 10 from Mr. Diddle at AOL.com. You answer the phone. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Number 9 from Speed Cheetah at AOL.com. You're so busy playing them that you make innocent teenagers do your top 11 list. Wait a minute. <laughs> Number eight <laughs> from Gecko2185 at AOL.com. You can actually spell Shigeru Miyamoto. Number yeah. seven from Adrock327 at AOL.com. You went to plumber school but dropped out when you realized you don't fit in the pipes. Number six from LMBRJAQPAT01 at AOL.com. You've relocated your bathroom, dining room, and kitchen to within an arm's length of your TV. Number five from Ant Zero at AOL.com. People tell you to go outside so often that you're beginning to wonder where this outside place really is. 
Number four, from nofear420 at AOL.com. Your private investigator still has no word on where Lara Croft lives. Number three, from chippa15 at AOL.com. Your idea of a wild Saturday night is hanging out at EB to pick up chicks. Woo Number two, from FrankieXL at AOL.com. Oh, look. I found the Game Boy in my lard roll. <laughs> <laughs> and from Aunt Pikachu at AOL.com, the number one sign you've been playing too many video games, start to introduce yourself as Bob64. Come on, you know the words! Sing it! Aunt, 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 Aunt. It's top 11. It's top 11. This has been the antagonist top 11. Thank you for listening to this week's top 11. Make sure to participate in next week's top 11. Top 11. The dictionaries may call it an interview, but we call it a weekly and interview. Welcome to the weekly ant interview, everybody. This week we have someone who I'm sure you've all wanted to sit down and talk with. Someone from France, Titus, uh, the programmer of Superman 64. Please welcome Mr. Guy from Titus. <coughs> Excuse me, that is from Titus. I am French. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for joining us, Mr. Guy from Titus. No, no, you have it all wrong. You did not say my name. You ordered a piece of pimento bread. I am Guy from Titus. Uh-huh. Uh, I didn't mean to offend you. Of course not. You cannot help but offend me. Uh, right. Uh, thanks for coming to the U.S. to talk with us. Of course. I like the Americans, much like the big farmer likes his filthy, uncultured swine. Um, okay. So, it says here that you're a programmer? Yes, I am many things. A patriot, an artist, a lover of beautiful women and delicate food. So, so tell me something. <laughs> Amongst all this artisting and loving of beautiful women, where did you find the time to program a video game? Well, I did the programming in the morning, during the time when the American people would normally bathe. And along with about 55 other programmers, I finished the game in a speedy four years. I was, of course, highly impressed with myself. Four years? Don't you think that's a little long for a game that was supposed to be released right after the N64? Of course not. Games must age like outrageously expensive wines before they are ready to be played. There was so much work to be done, so many hoops to build, each of them inspired by the brilliant artistry of the fabulous Sir de Soleil, Sir Monifique. Mm. And the dialogue. Do you think such brilliance happens overnight? No! <laughs> There's a scene when Superman is in a hurry. So he says, then there is no time to waste. In another scene, he is angry. So he says, then there is no time to waste. Genius, no? Uh, not exactly, no, no. What? You are insulting Superman 64? It is a masterpiece of modern art. You Americans never appreciate true beauty. Stinky cheese, disco, body odor, Jerry Lewis. All the great things in life you despise. You are a fuck to me. I spit upon your filthy gaming industry and your filthy American money that I want so badly. P do it! Alright, alright, that's it. You're not coming into my studio and insulting my country in a cheap accent. How could the French even try to make a game about Superman? It's an icon of American values. The guardian of truth, justice, and the American way. What do you know about the American way? Jack freaking squat! Look, we may live in trailer parks, Drink lots of soggy beer and videotape reruns of Sanford and Son, but at least we know that Belgium is flat. It's no wonder we had to bail you out of the big one. Stupid Yankee, I was thinking about war. Your pitiful culture centers around violence. 
That is why we try to get your cash with this game about Superman, who is stronger than everyone else and flies around punching them in the belly. You analyze nothing but combat. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, Pierre, what would you have made a game about? Napoleon, the great conqueror, of course. Yeah, figures. Uh, as you are, I, I just looked at your profile and, uh, you're French. Oh, my brother! Oh, brother! Ho, ho, ho! Wait, 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 guys, you think oh, we Oh, be could... quiet, you stupid and frigid type! Get out of here! Go on, shoot, shoot! Come as you are! We shall go to the beaches, make love to the women, drink the wine, eat the food! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let us go, my frigid hey, brother! Let's go! Let's go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let us program another game. The Weekly Ant Interview. Making a difference. One interview at a time. Ant Radio was written by Ant Caustic. And as you are, and Nomad, and Ant Fogo. Ant Radio was also performed by Ant Caustic, and As You Are, Ant Nomad, and Ant Fogo. And frankly, they're probably the only people who ever listen to it. But just in case you aren't one of those four guys, thanks for listening, and remember, always wear protective clothing when playing with matches. Radio was brought to you by www.ant.com. So, uh, what'd you think about the show? Oh uh, man, this show was even worse than last week. We're gonna lose our listener. Yeah, it seemed like it was missing something. I'm not sure what. <laughs> no, no. <laughs>